the control of the umpires, what they have done as, um, at all, but especially as in the last week, it's been even terrifying than usual. Byron Buxton injured yet again for the Minnesota Twins. Sucks. You just want to see a healthy Buxton. Unfortunately, we have not seen that his entire career. Walk off the field limping, clearly injured. Everyone knows it. And Rob Drake yells at him to get off the field, which – I, I, I'm speechless at that. Yeah. At that, it's as disrespectful as it gets. He should be fined. He should be probably sent down. Unfortunately, that does not happen for umpires. What's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, no, it is unbelievable how much leeway they have. How they're able to get away with certain things like that. Um, and man, you saw it very, very badly in Milwaukee too. Um, a power trip by the umpire. Um, Jose Siri hits a nuke off of Freddie Peralta, and then Freddie loses, you know, control. He he hits Siri. Um, I'm not going to give my personal opinion on it yet, but just know that he hit Siri in the thigh, and without warning, just they kick they kick Freddie. Freddie just misses a start now um, because of a power hungry umpire, and then you know Pat Murphy, who is his manager, comes out to you know. Give him a few choice words. Um, he he earned those choice words. Obviously, no warning was given to Freddie Peralta, and they just they kicked Murph out too. And then you know because of the lack of control of the game, um, and not you know not issuing a warning and just you know pressing his hand, going and getting Freddie Peralta for this malicious act of accidentally hitting him on a three zero count. You know then it's Abner Uribe who goes and gets into a fight with Jose Siri, and those deal out a bunch of suspensions all the way. Like, it could have been solved very easily if the if an, if a warning is issued there. Very, very easily. If a warning is issued there to Freddie Peralta, I, I have no issue with that. Zero. Especially with the way that Siri celebrated his homer. It, it makes sense that Freddie could throw at him. I see your, I see your argument. I disagree with it type of deal. If this if this is the future of baseball, we are screwed. If this is the direction that we continue to move to and it's a just routine night in, night out ump show, it's awful. It's unacceptable. We can't be having this happen in the game that is so loved by so many. So I want to say the robots are coming. But at the same time, what these umpires are doing are generating more views, more clicks, more outrage, more talks about baseball, a.k.a. it's bringing more money for Major League Baseball. Everything's a business. I think they stick with these umpires, and I wouldn't even be surprised if they're telling them to get a little more crazier because it's generating more money for Major League Baseball at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous what we have seen. Freddie Peralta had 66 pitches. He's as unselfish as a player as it gets. He is not going to go and kill his bullpen and get ejected because of a petty home run celebration. That's not Freddie Peralta. That's not who he is. That's not who he's been in his six-year career. It's ridiculous. Aaron Judge blocking a ball is not legal to break up a double play. That was ridiculous. Take it off. Oh, you're just biased because you're a Brewers fan. Let's go to the Mets, man. You look at the Mets-Cubs situation from, what was it, Wednesday night? You look at what the official memo was to all MLB teams. The Cubs broke it and were blocking home plate. I think Alonzo also touched home plate, and he was safe by itself. Forget block and forget that rule. And again, you go to replay, which a lot of times people will ask, what's the point of replay? It's because you look at these situations and you still come to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, it's insane. Um, And if you're justifying the Aaron Judge thing on Twitter um, with, you know, he does it all the time, you know, it, it... just because you do something a million times doesn't make it legal. If you go and you steal from a store every day, that doesn't make it legal. It just is a routine habit that is not good. Like, I, I couldn't believe people defending the judge thing, especially when they came out and they literally said, yep, we missed the call. 
what are we what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why are we arguing that this is legal? Like because he does it all the time? No, that doesn't make any sense. Very frustrating week from the MLB umpires. Um I I was very annoyed. I need to get that off my chest. It feels good. I saw I saw a quote tweet. It was like, "No officer, I'm six beers deep every yeah. time I take the wheel." <laughs> Just right. a, like it doesn't make it okay at all. 